Gouge, the owner of What to Wear Rocky Mountain at the Shops of Flying Horse. So as some know, uh, my sister has the original store in our hometown, Edwardsville, Illinois. And I would go back and obviously shop there and I loved the feel of her store. It was a neighborhood boutique. And so um, as we, Steve and I started to see um, commercial properties coming up here on this end of town and in Flying Horse, um, we started having dialogue. We probably talked about it for three years or so. And um, we finally bit the bullet and as we saw things were, were popping up here and decided to get on the ground floor and bring that neighborhood boutique concept to Flying Horse into the north end of town. We opened in 2017, uh, September, so we're getting ready to celebrate our third birthday, which is very exciting. And um, we, um, you know, it was a slow start. We're a bit of a destination up here, and so still getting the word out to people. And so that's a, 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 a constant for me to, you know, to get the word out and to spread the word that this little neighborhood boutique is here. So in 1998, I actually moved to Colorado Springs to work for the U.S. Olympic Committee. And I worked with them. I moved from Washington, D.C. I worked for a sports marketing agency. And I worked for the U.S. Olympic Committee for 12 years. And um, after that, I did one year with another company. And then I actually went out on my own um, and started J. Roush Events. Um, within that time that I was at the U.S. Olympic Committee, I met my husband, Steve Rausch, and he and I, um, in 2008, we were getting ready to get married and we're looking for a house because we both live downtown. And we had heard about Flying Horse and Classic Homes through actually a lot of stuff with the U.S. Olympic Committee because they're um, good donors and supporters and so anyway long and short of it is is we uh, decided to build up here and so we've been in this home for 12 years now and absolutely love the community um, it's quiet and peaceful and um, we've met an, an amazing group of friends um, and uh, it was a it was a really good move for he and I So when COVID first hit in March and we had to close down, um, you know, it was, I, I felt like, you know, it was very frantic and between, you know, doing the PPP and the e idle loans and all that paperwork to try to get funding, you know, cause we had no idea how long this was going to go on. And so um, at that point in time, I didn't have an e-commerce site. And so I did, every day I came into the store, I took photos, I kept up on social media. It was certainly, e it would have been easy to just not do any of that, but you still had to stay in the forefront of people's minds. And even though there wasn't a lot of sales during that time period, it was still important to be, to be out there. I actually was fortunate enough to receive funding and with that, I actually developed an e-commerce site. I hired a young lady that created the Shopify site, and then I did the back-end work. I had to change my inventory system so that um, my point of sale would talk to the Shopify e-commerce site. I've always loved clothes. I've loved to shop. Um, it's probably a detriment, but <laughs> I think, you know, it's has helped me though here. I've, I've certainly grown in my personal style um, and I think we all do as we age, you know, depending what we're going through. Um, and I think I've finally found, you know, what works for me and that takes time. And some people just don't enjoy it, which I get. And for those people, you know, just to um, help them kind of get the basics of what they want. Um, but clothing really does bring me joy. When I put on a, an outfit that makes me feel good, I have a little more pep in my stuff. The good thing for me is that I wasn't starting from scratch. Obviously, my sister had a model, and I had to adapt her model to obviously meet the needs. I have a different customer base than she does. Um, obviously, we're in a, bit, a larger community than Edwardsville, Illinois. And so um, I had to figure that out. And then with COVID, it's just been 
as so many people, you know, um, it's been challenging, hard, scary, um, but it's also, I have learned a ton during this time. I have really drilled down on my business. Um, you know, you tighten the belt buckle and you just give it your all. I mean, it's, it's your baby. And so um, I'm extremely passionate about it. Some days are quite discouraging, but then somebody walks in and it, you know, we have this great dialogue. I meet someone new or it's one of my, um, you know, regular customers. And it just, I have so much joy when I can, you know, provide a service to someone and make them feel good about something that they're wearing. Um, so it's, um, it keeps me going. I would say you would expect a really warm feeling um, that it's, it's comfortable in here. Uh, we have great customer service. Uh, as I mentioned, Lisa and Claudine are fabulous. And um, they, you know, knowing how to read a customer is important, whether they re want your help or not, or how you can figure out to get them to want your help kind of thing. You know, that you're not being pushy, that you really want them to find something that they're interested in. And so for me, again, it kind of goes back to that neighborhood warm feeling. And I think that's what you get when you walk in this store, not only from the look and feel of it, but from the people that are here as, uh, for customer service. This month, we will be celebrating our third birthday. Kind of hard to believe, but uh, thanks to all our incredible customers, um, we are still here. And there will be um, a lot of different promotions that are going on through the month. And then, actually, I want to align with a, a charity for that time as well. We will be doing some fun things. And, you know, uh, with the limited people in and out, that's not a huge issue for us um, from a COVID perspective and social distancing. All of our staff is wearing masks. And now with the, the mandate from the state, we have all of our customers wearing masks. We have hand sanitizers. And then after customers come through, we are wiping down uh, dressing rooms, um, high touch point areas. Um, and so trying to keep the safety of both our staff and our customers. You know, we're still alive and kicking, and, and I think it's important to celebrate our milestones, um, especially with a small business. I believe in this, and I feel like I can make this, you know, um, I'm hoping I'm around for 10 years, 15 years, you know, and that it really does become that neighborhood boutique. Um, you know, some days you just have to dust yourself off, but um, I'm, I'm driven. Um, I love being challenged and um, learning has been a really good th thing. I've been in the, I still have the event world um, that I've been in for 30 years. Um, but this, and, and I still learn there too, because obviously we've had to adapt for events as well. But uh, as it relates to the store, I'm, you know, you're constantly trying to tweak how you can do something a little bit different that might interest a customer or bring someone new in. And so that's what keeps me going.